are stained. We are. We have all sinned. Though we have all fallen short of the glory of God, we should not be okay with it. Right. We shouldn't be okay with it. Be like, well, you know, nobody's perfect. It's an excuse that we use to continue doing what we're doing. We need to repent. Amen. And say, God, forgive me. What is wrong with me? Why am I living like this? Right. Why do I think that this is okay to live like and to wear around? We are all living epistles read among men. Emma didn't want to go in public like this. She don't want nobody see that, man. No way. I got to get a different outfit. I got to get a clean outfit on. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. It'd be good if we as Christians would have that mentality. Right. Right. Oh, my gosh, man. I'm, I'm battling this sin. I'm, sin is overcoming. I'm living the oh, I can't be. I can't do this. I can't continue to do this. This is wrong. It's sin. I'm offending God. Right. Right. Amen. Instead, we're just like, well, I, I know people that do it. They go to church. They're good people. I mean, you know, nobody's perfect. It's like all these excuses, man. Devil just keeps on, yeah, take them. There you go. Yeah, just keep living for yourself. Keep doing what you want to do. Paul said, King Agrippa, I know you believe. I know you do. King Agrippa looked at Paul and he said, man, you almost got me this time. You almost got me this time. You almost persuaded me that I needed to commit, commit my life to Jesus. You almost persuaded me to, to become a Christian. How do you become a Christian? You start on your knees. Say, dear Jesus, I'm a sinner. God, I have sinned. I have sinned against God. I, am, I deserve hell. I, I am unrighteous before a holy God. It starts with humility. It starts with humility. And it will end with humility. So I wonder this morning if I've almost convinced some of you today. Or are you going to continue to just be like, eh, I'm good, man. I mean, it's okay for you, you know, you're, you're good. It's okay, but man, don't be pushing that. No, I'm good. I don't need that stuff. You almost convinced me. Boy, every time I come, you're getting closer. All right. I sure hope so. Most of you know that, I guess in probably August, I guess it was, about mid-August, I started working part-time at a funeral home in Hannibal. And uh, that changes your perspective a little bit. At least it did mine. Um, kids, young, Young, real young, middle aged, middle, old. I mean, death is no respecter of person. Right. No matter if you're nine or if you're 90, there's an appointment coming. Right. We're all going to stand before God, every one of us. And whether you believe it or not, whether you want to mock and be like, I'm good without Jesus, I'm good, I'm, you know. It's so sad. It's so sad. And I see people every day, and I wonder, every time somebody comes in, every time people come to church, I wonder, I wonder if, I wonder if they know Jesus. I wonder if they've been born again. Every time somebody comes in the funeral home, I wonder, I wonder if they made heaven their home. I'll tell you what, it's, it's, it's a little bit overwhelming at times. I went on one, and see, this is what people do. This is kind of a good picture of the world. I went, uh, went out, I, I'm actually on call as well, so I have to go and pick people up. Uh, and so I'm, I'm not never by myself, but we go to homes and different stuff. Went to a place one time, and uh, these people had been, they'd been up partying all night long. Par I mean, when I say party, you don't know what I'm talking about. Partying all night long. So I think it was about 1.30, 2 in the morning, we got a phone call. And then I get a phone call and say, hey, we got a call. We need to get her as soon as you can. I said, okay. So I jump up, out the door I go. 
get there and we drive to the home. This individual that had been up all night long partying literally died and everybody was sitting around them and they didn't even notice. Mm -hmm. Kind of shocking, isn't it? Didn't even notice until they went to hay. And then they realized, hey, hey, wake up. Wasn't sleeping. Wasn't passed out. Gone. Into eternity he went. This is a true story, folks. I'm not making this stuff up. That was hard for me. Because I know what the Bible says. I know what the Bible says. Isn't that like us? We keep living our life and people around us are dropping like flies. Heading straight for destruction. I'm trying to wake some of you up maybe this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Saying, hey, before you go, you better wake up. That's right. Before you go, before you go into eternity, I'm trying to wake you up. Amen. You're stained up, man. I'm stained up. We, you need Jesus. I need Jesus. 